I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. Ryan. <laughs> Uh, it looks like a you have to think like a shinobi. <laughs> you into edging, Ryan? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I don't like edging. The dude of Dan always was edging. He did this thing called no fap, and he said if he edged but didn't come, he still could keep his day streak. <laughs> Ryan. Forced. Like a teacher or a parent would be yelling at you when you're a kid, and, and, and nothing's funny, but you just. Your brain's like, don't laugh. And you just get the urge to laugh while someone's They're yelling. Like, Why are you laughing? And they're like, oh, you think this is funny? I'm like, no, I don't. I always laughed when teachers would yell at me, and I couldn't help it. And it made me look like such a little, like, shit, you know? You probably were a little shit. I was a little shit. I was, I always got in trouble when I was in elementary school. I was a defiant little Big, schmuck. Big, limp dick, little shit. Big, limp dick, little shit. Is that also from the, uh, insult generator? No, it's from, uh, Forrest... <laughs> Forrest Gump? Yeah. Remember the part when, uh... Lieutenant Dan calls Forrest a big limp dick little shit. <laughs> no. I was supposed that's, to die. That's what Forrest's mom said to him. Oh, what? you limp dick little shit. <laughs> Your legs don't work. He's holding Bubba as he's dying. Forrest, you limp dick little shit. <laughs> make some shrimp cakes. You can make shrimp stew. You can make limp, limp dick you, little shit stew. You can make shrimp pasta. Shrimp shrimp alfredo you can make shrimp tenders Sh shrimp tenders <laughs> country fried shrimp Ooh. shrimp filet steak mignon milk milan shrimp milk <laughs> shrimp milkshake shrimp, shrimp yogurt juice. shrimp cheese shrimp kombucha seriously uh i, I if i had joined the army uh like i think the only thing that could get me through boot camp would be to have like an autistic friend like bubba Gotta sit up. It's kind of losing steam, dude. I, I haven't, I don't, I haven't not had a lot of caffeine today. I'm slipping over my words. But at least you have Big Blue to play, and Big Blue's fun. Well, the beginning of Big Blue, I'm not necessarily a big fan of, but it's the second half of Big Blue that is fucking epic. This, for some reason, when I hear this track, I'm just reminded of Bubba from Forrest Gump. His full name, which is Bubba Buford Blue. Bubba Buford. I, I think that is really his full name. Really? I watched that movie the other night. Or First. most of it. I I have not seen that movie in such a long it's a time. Fucking it's good phenomenal. It's a good movie that whenever it's on, oh, it's so good. I hate. You I can hate. watch it all the way through with like having no qualms or anything. Yeah, and I, and I really hate how people are like, it's just Oscar bait. It's like, who cares if it's Oscar bait? It's still a good movie. It's not really. It's just a feel good, fun little story. It's incredible, and if you don't like Forrest Gump, you are a despicable human being. Okay, I take that back. You're not a spickle human being. I just judge your overall taste if you don't think it's at least decent. Forrest Gump is, like, I, I've seen that movie more than I've seen any other movie in my life, probably. And every time I see it, I'm still entertained, and I'm still emotionally touched, and I'm still, I'm still happy and sad. You've and seen it more than 12 Years a Slave, your favorite movie? I've never seen 12 Years a Slave, Ryan. Stop putting words in my mouth. You've never seen 12 Years a Slave. Have you seen 12 Years a Slave? Yeah. Where I think that's it? the year when it was, like, Oscar so white. Ugh. Uh, uh. There's no, no mail fuck. here. So Can't sit here. But but yeah, Ryan. What uh, what's new in your life, buddy? I don't know. I haven't seen any movies lately. I need to go see a movie. We just saw one. Yeah, but we already talked about it. I thought. Shit, we? we did, didn't we? Well, talked about the post. Yep, that's true. With uh, <laughs> love the ending. With Hom Tanks and Meryl Streep. The ending was such a. It was just I keep I keep laughing about it because the ending could have just stopped when the security guard was opening the door it's like oh they're at the water gate or no no when the camera was panning out and you see the other people with the flashlights and the windows but then as it's doing that it goes hey i'm at the water gate <laughs> yeah. something is going on here it's like uh Dude. no shit everybody in the theater knows that this is watergate unless you're 16 years old well maybe some 16 year olds are watching <laughs> they didn't know what watergate is <laughs> they had to have it spelled out for them they should have put text on the screen that was like this is watergate happening like, right now like the little thing in the corner of the screen was, <laughs> like it shows <laughs> watergate watergate <The> dnc <laughs> <laughs> i um you know what would be a great super cut of a movie <clears throat> what you know like that part when it's pulling out and it shows the guys with the flashlights then yeah. cut to the part in forrest gump where forrest gump is on the phone across <laughs> yes. the way from watergate and it's tom hanks too 
Just Talk like, it, yeah. so that would be the most confusing thing. You're like, did his character just change? And then just watch the rest of Forrest Gump from that point onward. Can someone send uh, us at Super Mega on Twitter, uh, edit together a clip of Tom Cruise, sorry, not Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks talking to himself on the phone from two different movies. Just do it. Yeah, make it, see how realistic you can portray this conversation. Can you cut it together where it makes sense? I'm, I'm intrigued. I'd like to see that, Ryan. That's a very unique and, and witty idea, and I'd like to see what you guys can do with it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think I killed somebody. I, there's blood on my knife, on my hand. I'll tell you what I am sure of. You're gonna get caught. I'm in New York. One way or another, it's a mathematical fact. It's, it's like Vegas. The house always wins. And the Oscar goes to... Della Beast. Thank you, thank you. Never should have made that joke. So did, did they, what, what did they do? Did they jump out of an airplane? Uh, they, they were just having a nice movie. vacation. They went skydiving, they landed, and then once they landed, the people were like, haha, you're mine now. Oh. Uh-oh. Foss? What he the was fuck? To take care of us. I gotta hold his neck now. Press A to hold bleeding hole in neck. He's like, oh. This, this is a very uh, prominent game mechanic throughout the rest of the game. Oh, really? No. Quick time events? No, this oh. is the only one. Not the only quick time event, just the only one where you're like, you have to hold his neck with if A. If I stop pressing A, does he... I'm not holding it anymore. I'm holding it now. No. Oh, he's dead. Oh, Ryan. Oh, the hold disappeared. Because let go of it. Uh-oh, shit. Uh-oh. Nacho, get out of here, man. Oh. Oh, they, uh, they used, uh... They used a Forrest Gump reference. Could you blame them? No. Pretty good movie. You know, Arthur from uh, Little Tokyo doesn't like, didn't like Forrest Gump at first. Yeah, Arthur's the little old J Japanese man that sits in his chair and he and he plays. He's a one man band and he plays a bunch of uh, plays plays a keyboard that's like that's what it sounds like and he he blows into like a harmonica thing and he, he Boom, sings. Bing, bong, he's bing. great, man. He's great at singing. But he was talking to me and he said he didn't like. He thought Forrest Gump was the stupidest movie he ever saw when he was young. And then he watched it 20 years later and blew him away. And that's that. And that's that, baby. Thanks, Arthur. Oh. Yeah, bro! <laughs> there. <laughs> Come he, on, man. He gets fast. Watch this shit. Dude, you're beating the big boys, smacking them, they're carrying big hands. What's your, what's your favorite Shaq moment of all time, Ryan? Um... If you had to pick one. When he, uh... When he is with Dr. Phil in the fucking scary like, movie. bathroom in Scary Movie 4? And Dr. Phil goes, Now I'm gonna be straight with you. I'm an asshole. Why didn't I do Forrest Gump? It's kinda like Forrest know. Gump, Dr. Phil. <laughs> Dr. Phil. <laughs> Lieutenant. What, Forrest? <laughs> Dr. Phil, why do you sound like me? This is my way of representing you so you, you have someone that you can talk to comfortably. Thank you, Dr. Phil. <laughs> so, You're Lute welcome. Lieutenant Dan ain't got no legs. Well, Forrest, I can't help with that. Oh. Okay, well, catch me outside, how about that? Oh, now Forrest, I just shit myself, Forrest. <laughs> what an episode of Dr. Phil. <laughs> Dr. Phil gets two in characters, Forrest Gumpy shits himself. Imagine if like in the middle of a Dr. Phil episode, he just like freezes and just looks off stage and goes, Diapy, Diapy, <laughs> Diaper, Diaper. They have to come out and like change his diaper on stage. Like, Good like, God, get this fucker a diaper. Like I've been brown in my bottoms! With a fucking cigar hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> Dr. Phil make messy boom boom! He's swinging, no, he's swinging! Fuck! I'm gonna catch those hands, boy. I hate how, like... Okay. Are we good? Hey, it's the house's uvula. That's not what that is. Remember, uh, Monster House? I know that Dan it's Harmon a girl, wrote Monster House. It's a girl house. She's got a uvula. Yo, all my bitches got uvulas. Fuck. I just beat myself up. Uh, that's just a fun fact. Dan Harmon was one of the writers for Monster House. Was he really? Yeah. 
found that out. Good for him. I was editing the Game Grumps, uh, Dan Harmon Guest Grumps, and I looked at his Wikipedia page. He's got Monster House on there. He worked with Robert Zemeckis. Is that how you say it? Robert Zemeckis? Yeah. Yeah. He did, he directed Forrest Gump, right? Uh, I think so. I think so. So I remember in the Monster House trailer, I swear oh. one of them said, like, from one of the, from, like, the director of Forrest Gump, and I was like, huh. Jenny, this house is haunted. Jenny! Jenny. Jenny, I don't want... I don't want a son, Jenny. Well, I'm gonna give you one, Forrest, and I gave you AIDS. Oops. He didn't get AIDS. The son probably got AIDS, dude. She was pregnant, she had fucking AIDS. Okay. Wouldn't the baby be born with AIDS? With the what? That's a really, like, I never thought of that. She had AIDS or HIV or something from her, her party days. She gave birth to a son and had sex with Forrest. Technically, doesn't that mean that both of them could have AIDS? The son and Forrest? Potentially they could. Ginny, why didn't you... Why'd you do that? Look, she she was just having some fun. She's just goofing. She's just having a goof. She didn't mean it. She didn't mean it. She was... She, she was just... It was a prank. Okay? It was a social experiment. What's up, guys? Today's prank is gonna be giving Forrest Gump and his son AIDS. So now, I mean, whenever you see the A button, you can jump out whenever you want. You can go wherever you want. Um, I'm jumping. Okay, sure. here we go. Okay. Uh, okay. Where are we dropping? Where, baby dro where, <laughs> where baby are we dropping? dropping? Ba baby's dropping. I'm going over here to this racetrack. Lieutenant okay. Dan, where are we dropping? Oh. Lieutenant Del Dan. Tilted Towers Forest. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, Bubba's in the storm. Oh, Bubba. <laughs> Boris, I was supposed to die in the storm! <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no V-Bucks. Okay. Lieutenant Dan, what's a chug jug? Okay, I'm, I'm just Boris gonna... mother slept with, uh... How do I... No, uh, Cliff Lazinski. <laughs> That's why he left. <laughs> your mother sure does care about your Fortnite, your son. <laughs> what, your mother didn't want you to be a no skin. <laughs> Forward from the battle bus trying to get a seat. Taken. <laughs> seat's taken. Can't sit here. We can drop here if you want. There's a there's a group of people that believe the earth is a fucking plate. It's like a disc. And then yeah, it's a disc, sorry. And the sun rotates in a circle over it or some shit. Do you want to know their explanation of gravity? It's that the disc is constantly moving upwards, so it's pushing us down. But that doesn't explain gravity, because that means that we're being pulled down by something below us still, right? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. It, it's... I, sorry, I don't want to step on any flat earther's toes, you know? Yeah, so, sorry about that. <laughs> Just on. look it up. God. How can you believe the earth is flat in 2017? I am sorry, I don't want to get... Is that even getting political? No. That's just common sense. If you make flat earthing a bipartisan issue. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is an issue that, uh, it's a really a bipartisan issue. Like, I'm not a smart person, but I know what love is. And I, def <laughs> and I definitely know that the earth isn't flat. Oh, man. <laughs> I may not be a smart man. But I know what love is. And then he, then he, what is, doesn't he run out the door or something? Yeah. He's like, I'm going to run and find the end of the earth. <laughs> And he runs all the way to the edge of the earth. No, it was Jenny it was was at the top of the steps. Yeah. No, no, he was at the top of the steps, and Jenny was leaving out the door. No, I, I, no, no, I, no. I, I can't he remember said, the placement. Jenny goes upstairs, and he goes, "Will you marry me?" And oh, she goes, she's, "She's like, oh yeah." I don't think you know what love is, Forrest. And he goes, "I may not be a smart man, but well, I, know I know what love is. is." And then he runs out the out screen the, door, right? Fuck, man, that's a that's a. That, I just got goosebumps thinking about that scene. The hardest scene for me to stomach in that movie the, for the first time watching was when he was meeting a little Forrest for the first time. Yeah. Oh, and and he's could, like self-aware of his... When you realize that he's self-aware of his stupidity, like it's that. Man. Where it's like, because usually he's like, stupid is as stupid does. Like his mom is telling him like, you're not, you know, you're you're special, but you're not stupid. You're you're a fine, you know, blah, 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 blah. But then you realize it's like, oh, he does know that people look look at him in this way, that he is not as good. But like... He keeps going. Dude, it's such a beautiful movie. Um, like, and, and you know, they, they actually, they had a sequel. Like, the script and everything. 9-11, moon 9 landing, all that, right? No, 9-11 uh, was why they canceled the movie, apparently. Oh. Or that's that's what I read, was that they had the script ready to go. He was a part of 9-11, right? <laughs> <laughs> he was on the plane. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, it's based on the books. And, like, both books came out before the first movie. And I actually, I have both books. I have the second one. And I, I kind of skimmed through it. And he, uh... He's part, like, I think he's responsible for crashing the Exxon Valdez, which was, like, a massive oil spill. Creates the new, cor uh, the new Coke formula. He shovels pig shit on a farm. He fights in Operation Desert Storm with a chimp named Sue. 
and uh, I think he goes to the moon. The second one's a little more outlandish than the first one. The first, uh, I have the first treatment, like the first script that was written for it before they like revised it and stuff. Oh, really? That's awesome. Th there's like, there's a bunch of shit after what they show. I can't remember what it was. I'll have to, it's still in, it's still at, at my dad's place, so I should bring it by so you could read some That'd of be it. Because awesome. it's super different. It's like, in a lot of places. It, it, it's like eight hours of him literally sitting, waiting for the bus to come back. Just solid him sitting there waiting for the bus. Exactly. When my mom said that the first time she saw that movie in theaters, my grandma, my grandma was like, you, you know, you know, he's going to sit there the whole day and wait for that bus, which is where the second movie picks up. Really? Apparently. Yeah. Like, or that's where the book picks up is he's like sitting, <clears throat> waiting for his, his son, son to come back. <sighs> I cannot breathe. I thought they controlled wait, Matt, it with their hold tongue. On. What? Before you get to that. He has a new, new arm. arm. Okay. We got, we, we noticed that audience. Anyways, Matt, continue. Lieutenant Dan, you got new arm. It's made out of the same thing as thing. Uh, the space shuttles are made out of titanium. It's made out of titanium force. Titanium alloy. Look on the space shuttles. Lieutenant Dan. That's Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Watashiwa Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Watashiwa <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. Watashiwa Lieutenant Dan Forrest. <laughs> Don't forget. Lieutenant Dan Des. You gotta say Des. It makes it more polite, Forrest. It's it's the it's the ending of a sentence. It's much like a period, but it's it's very polite. It's called the Japanese Coppola. Uh, Desu, Forrest, but don't say Desu because you'll sound like a girl. Uh, so Forrest, uh, do you know Kanji yet? Lieutenant Dan, I don't even know what Kanji is. Uh, Forrest, I know about 50 Kanji. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, I just know a little bit of hiragana, that's all. Lieutenant Dan, mo mother always told me you need to know at least 2,000 to be somewhat fluent in the language. Nah, Forrest. That's not accurate. <laughs> a thousand will do. <laughs> a thousand will do. But Lieutenant Dan, I was reading in one of my Japanese Genki textbooks, you need at least two that forest. <laughs> like weeaboo Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> I was reading in my textbook. I'm now, I'm on katakana and hiragana. Lieutenant Dan was always practicing hiragana and katakana and these really hard ones called kanji. He was saying things like ho and row <laughs> now forest it's no <laughs> he like corrects him to the t but it says it like low <laughs> like, he, like he doesn't put any accent into it oh uh, okay i'm gonna just ryan you have to be the shinobi i'm being the shinobi there i'm the shinobi oh i got burned again yup <laughs> Jesus effing Christ. Lieutenant Dan, nowadays everybody want to talk like they got something to say. Ah, Forrest motherfuckers act like they forgot about Dre. I must become the shinobi. Mom, get out! <laughs> you have... I'm stuck on this boss, what do I do? You have to be one with the shinobi. No, what do I, like, what are the boss's patterns? Like, how, like, what ta tactics what can I use? What would a shinobi do? You a shinobi uses the weakness of listen, the enemy. Listen, listen, you have to, you have to, th you have to think about your enemy's weaknesses. Listen, Forrest, ah, uh, nah, just... <laughs> Forrest. A, sh a shinobi uses the weaknesses of his enemy. Lieutenant Dan, I'm just playing a video game, though. I'm not a real shinobi. <sighs> Forrest, that's, it's fucking awful. What? Watashiwa, Lieutenant Dan Des. <laughs> Watashiwa, Forrest Gump Desu. <laughs> Forrest, if you say Desu, it makes you sound like a woman. Just say Des. Well, I was learning from this online program, and they kept making fun of me. The, the program didn't make fun of you. No, the kids did. Why? Because they said the program made me sound like a little woman. It's a thing. A lot of people that try to learn Japanese end up sounding like a girl when they speak because they learn from like very feminine uh, speech patterns from a lot of programs. You know what else is sour? What? Me forgetting to talk to the old man after clearing his path. God damn it, Ryan. Okay, he's, he's over there. I can make this jump. Yep. You, know, you know who doesn't like mustard was the guy at the end of the first episode of Sekiro. <gasps> oh, a Nightjar beacon memo. I hope we crash... Crass. Crass paths again, dude. I hope we crash paths. I really like you. Do you like me? Can't sit here. <laughs> Seat's taken. You can sit here if you want. <laughs> it was the most beautiful voice. You can sit here if you want. <laughs> Alex Jones on the bus. With you can sit kids. here if you want, Forrest. <laughs> now, now, Forrest. <laughs> <laughs> He started talking about all these things that started to make sense. He started talking about homo frogs. Yeah, I can't call them homo frogs. They're homosexual frogs for us. You gotta be respectful. <laughs>
I like it to slowly turn into Lieutenant Dan. Everything's Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan started watching this thing called InfoWars. <laughs> He said there were these interdimensional child molesters, but I did not believe that. I did not see any. Forest. Oh, man. Welvin, Welvin, Welvin. Welvin the Great. I fucking love him. <laughs> For some reason, if you don't know who Welvin is, which you should, he's the guy that from the D's Nuts video. Yeah. It's like, something came in the mail today. My D's notice, nuts. I say it quite a bit in videos. Ever you say it a lot. <laughs> I've you said say it. it more out of videos than you do in videos, what, honestly. Was it when, even when... Like, before we met, I was yeah, saying D's Yeah, you were saying nuts. D's Nuts, and in fact, I mean, 20 minutes before this podcast, you hit me with it twice. I don't even know if you remember. <laughs> I you do. hit me with it twice. They just come out organically. They just happen. They just kind of, like, <laughs> pop them off here and there. You always got one in the chamber, you know? You always got a D's they're Nuts joke in the They're never witty, chamber. though. No, they're, they're never smart. They're you're so like, unwitty. You're, you're, like, I gotta, <laughs> you're like, I gotta pin something up, and I'm like, I got something for you to pin up. <laughs> And then you go silent. Then I'm like, you want to know what it is? You're like, what, Ryan? These nuts. Then you're like, cool, awesome. <laughs> they're just always passive. They're not like ever like gotcha moments. No, they're never good. I'll be like, hey, uh, do you know where that little blue SD card is? I know where these nuts are. And you never say these nuts. You say these nuts. <laughs> these nuts. You really, you really uh, enunciate Gotti. these. You say these. These, these nuts. <laughs> it's funny because... I don't know when you properly start to pronounce it. These, these nuts. The it sounds like Forrest Gump. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, <laughs> something came in the mail. He doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> Forrest <laughs> Gump is like <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. That's not what I was doing. I was going, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, something came you make in the him mail. You sound like today. a King of the Hill character. No, I don't. I'm. Haven't that's exactly about... how Forrest Gump sounds. He goes. He goes, Lieutenant Dan, <laughs> you got new nuts. <laughs> you got new nuts? Made like, out of titanium. Like on the titanium. space shuttle, Forrest. Mm. These nuts are titanium. Why don't you suck on them? Suck on what? These nuts, Forrest. <laughs> got he. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Lieutenant How come, at the beginning of these Oscars, they should just have a bunch of famous movie scenes, except it's replaced with the dialogue of the These Nuts video. <laughs> no one, like, what percentage of Americans would get that? These Nuts can't be that big. I would. I, oh, yeah, I know you would. I would, too. <laughs> Especially if you put some raspberries in it. Oh, you know what else is good? Rasp berries. If you take rasp berries and you freeze them in the freezer and then eat them the next day. It's like candy. It's like candy in my dang mouth. It's as sour as my daddy's lips. <laughs> oh, man. I hope they make a new season of Check It Out with Steve Brule. Such a Do great they not show. announce one yet? Uh, not that I know of. Not a new season of Check It Out with Steven Brule. It was about as sour as my daddy's lips. Picture uh, that character, but in place of Forrest Gump. <laughs> like that would be a, f that would be a great movie. That'd be phenomenal. Oh, Jenny! D Jenny, dang it, Jenny! <laughs> I just got cream out my dangus. <laughs> what would what would be his reaction to like when she comes in and fucks to him. like <laughs> to like Lieutenant Dan? Lieutenant Dan, you got new legs. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, titanium forest, like on the space shuttles. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, you're retarded. Oh no, what I'm retarded. <laughs> Mama said the life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. It's my favorite. Oh, what's his reaction to Little Forest? That scene breaks my heart. That scene is like that's that that movie. No matter how many times I see it, will still bring a little bit of moisture to my eyeballs. Because you see that he's self-aware of his stupidity, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's why it's sad. Because the part where he's like, is is he like? And he like kind of points to yeah. himself, like. I was like, that's so oh, sad. That means fuck. like he knows that he's. he's For me, the that's challenge. the saddest point in the movie. I think that that uh, tied with. I don't know. Yeah, that that's probably the most emotional part of the movie. And he goes and sits by him, and his son is. Because smartest in his class. Because like when Jenny dies, I'm not sad that she died. I'm sad before Forrest. Because yeah, I'm cause... sad for him because of his understanding of things and how much emotion. Like, he puts. He has so much love. Like, he's so much positivity, at least in the movies. Jenny, because Jenny's like a real, she's a real worker, a real crock of she, shit, dude. She goes back to Forrest out of convenience, because she needs someone to take care of her since she got AIDS. And because he got apple stock. Yeah. And she has AIDS, and she, like, she basically fucked him when she had AIDS. Like He, he might have AIDS. He probably has AIDS. Forrest Gump probably went on to die of AIDS.
He touched a boob and came instantly. And you haven't? <laughs> I've never had that like ever happen. That's like a thing that I've seen like uh, like teen movies and shit. Like American Pie, where it's like a I girl do, touches their legs and like, whoa! I do know. It just came, dude. I do know someone that uh, <laughs> they uh, they came when they were putting the condom on. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh man. The act of putting the condom on and they came. Yeah, before they even got to put it in. Good God. <laughs> That's oh, unfortunate. Man. That's sad. That's just that's hilarious. That's did, so funny to me. Was this like first, this time, per, first this, time ever having sex? So. Oh, but like oh. I, I think it's just like the just the excitement of of that moment. It's like oh oh, and they just shot their splooge. They shot their wad. Is it here, Jackson? Right? Yeah, right back there. there. Back there. Right? Oh, right here. It's back by. No, the, go to the oh. playroom. Go to the playroom. We figured it out. Oh, the they kitchen. Say. The kitchen. Wait. Foxy's running down the hallway! Ig ignore, uh... <laughs> He's making Five Nights at Freddy's references. No, yeah. it was the other No, area. wasn't it by the back area? I thought this was the back Man, area. Man, nothing made my heart beat faster than when I saw Foxy running down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my way! I'll tell you what. <laughs> I was working at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Pizzeria. When I was in my 20s, I got a job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I got a job at Comet Ping Pong Pizza. And there was Foxy in the hallway. He was running. Anyways, uh, so I had a friend named Lieutenant Dan. And we went to the woods and there was Slender Man. <laughs> Five nights at Ping Pong. And Viet. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of children have had that, Jackson. They really had good pizza. But there were always these these boys named the Soros Brothers coming in and out, and they would bring lots of money in big bags. And Hillary the Clinton, Clinton always snuck in through a suitcase thing. <laughs> they roll a suitcase in, unzip no, it, she comes out. <sighs> where are the kids at? <laughs> now where are they? So when I got back from Vietnam, I got myself a part-time job at a pizza parlor. It was called Comet Ping Pong Pizza in Washington, D.C. That's where the president lives. Now, it was some of the best pizza I ever had. But something went wrong. One day, a man decided to walk in with a gun. <laughs> I'm here to save the fucking kids. <laughs> Can believe that fucker did that? It's just like, hey, I'm gonna... Yeah, an American hero. He's gonna go save those kids, dude. And they're oh, like, fuck. sir, we don't have a basement. Well, oh, how do you explain this? Did. 12, 13 in the hot tub? Come on. Yeah, well, I know, dude. Explain that in I'm the not emails, saying that brother. shit ain't creepy. I'm, I, dude, those you. people are creeps, no, but the wouldn't. Pizzagate shit was fake. Isn't it proved that they actually all go out he into this, like, character. fucking wooded area and wear robes and shit and have, like, bonfires? I don't know. That's, that's just what billionaires do, right? Jen, that. I don't think we've ever been on an episode of Super Mega where we don't do some Forrest Gump show. <laughs> I saw a comment yesterday that was like, I haven't watched Super Mega in seven months and I came back. Yep, they're still doing Forrest Gump voice. It was like, nothing's changed. Forrest, do you know why they call you Forrest? Why, Jen, eh? Because <laughs> you're hung like a tree. You know he was packing something crazy. Oh, dude, of course, man. Yeah, I am pretty big. No! Ah, oh, fuck. Jenny, I do have a pretty large penis. <laughs> now give me AIDS. <laughs> So is it is it is yep. it theory that he has AIDS? No, it's, it's a confirmed. theory. It's not in the. But movie that's just at all. a theory. <laughs> An the AIDS theory. theory. <laughs> Does Forrest Gump have AIDS? If he made videos like that, I'd watch the shit out of that. I I gotta be one with the Shinobi. I said that. You get a block. I gotta be one with the Shinobi. Jenna, I'm one with the Shinobi. Jenna, you just have to think like a Shinobi. Jen that <laughs> Lieutenant Dan always taught me to think like a shinobi. Jenny, your a posture, shino, elite Lieutenant Dan. Your posture's down, Jenny. <laughs> Where am I? You're in Mormon heaven. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Are we, are, is that gonna be, are you guys gonna be doing that on tour again? Of yeah. course. I'll just be walking around here, Ryan and Jackson. <laughs> Cause we're laughing at your jokes. Lieutenant Dane, I don't feel so good. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. All right. Oh, I thought I had a gun. Jenny, they Jenny's call got a gun. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. More oh. like Forrest got a gum. <laughs> I mean, you saw the way he, you saw Forrest played football, right? You know, he just ran for it. That's definitely the way he fucks. Why? Why aren't, why aren't you a writer for SNL, Jackson? God damn it! <laughs> He's not funny enough.
Okay. Oh, look at them all. They're so happy. They didn't have to do shit. Why is Billy sad? We just did this shit, dude. <laughs> we did the. What a. hands and feet and yep that they're, was they're abandoned children they have no parents and here's a fet oh that's the ending of forest gump nice forest gump that's reference. the ending of forest gump oh, congratulations you rip off piece of shit fuck this game dude it's done it's done it's you done. never have to play it again that recording was that was two awful. and a half hours yep, two and a half <sighs> two hours and 32 minutes do we have to sit through the credits no we don't have to sit let's the go credits. celebrate instead let's celebrate jesus christ in the middle. Yeah.